week one of my brand new affiliate marketing business and what am I doing here? If you missed the first video in the series where I explain exactly what I intend to achieve, then I am taking a 180 day challenge. I'm gonna build an affiliate marketing business over the next 180 days by following the training you can see on the screen right now. This is Taking Action Online. If you wanna follow along with me at any point, you can do so by hitting the link below and when you do that, you're gonna get access to this Fast Track Affiliate Bootcamp for free guys, so it's well worth you checking out just put your best email in there so you can get access to that free training so I'm building out a brand new affiliate business why because I already have a business well it's twofold really I want the benefits of building a digital asset I see it much like buying a property a rental property and renting it out but with le much less money put down and much better gains potentially in the future and something that can generate me an income for years and years and years the rest of my life potentially something that I might be able to sell in future and make a big nest egg for my retirement. Who knows? But that is why. And the second reason is I want to share the journey with you. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. If you haven't watched that first video, make sure you go and check it out. The link for the playlist will be in the description. Go and check out the first video. I'll explain everything that I'm going to be doing over the course of the next 180 days. But I'm going to share the whole process with you. This is a fantastic opportunity for you guys to get a bird's eye view of me building a an affiliate marketing business from scratch. Now, the process I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna go through this training here. This is week one. Now, this is the seven step action plan, and inside here we have seven steps. So the first one is niche simplicity, then we've got rock solid foundation, choosing your path, conversion optimization, the irresistible lead magnet, email marketing, and then it's time to launch, guys. From there, we move on to the marketing academy. I'm gonna show you that a bit later on, but today, I wanna keep it as short as possible, show you all of the stuff that I've done this week <clears throat> to move my business forward. So I started off with step one, niche simplicity. Now, I already know what niche I'm going to pick, but the niche I've chosen is a very broad niche. I need to narrow it down. I need to get a micro niche inside there so that I can get traction, so I can separate myself from the competition because it is a very competitive niche. And I want to do things a little different. As I explained in the first video, I want to turn my passion into profit. Now, my passion, my hobby, my love is gardening. I love organic vegetable gardening particularly. And... I want to share that with the world. I've been doing it since I could walk, you know, since before I could walk, guys, and I want to share that passion with the world. And this time around, I want to do that because, again, it makes things different. You know, your online business doesn't have to be your passion or your hobby. But what I've learned over the last few years is that it massively helps when you hit those hurdles, when life gets in the way, and when you have those days that you really don't want to do the work, when it's a passion or a hobby, it doesn't feel like work. That... I think is really gonna help me push forward because my time's limited, guys. I have a big family, I have a lot of commitments in my personal time, so my time is limited. And I already run this business here at School of Affiliates, so I need to make sure I utilize my time to the best of my ability and give me the best chance to keep pushing forward. So inside here, the niche simplicity, I've already gone through this part of the training, and inside here we go through, you know, picking your niche. If you don't know what niche you are going to choose, then this is a fantastic opportunity. Something I really struggle with, guys. You know, last time around I really struggled with it. I knew from the beginning that if I was going to do this challenge, if I was going to build a new business, it was going to be my passion, my hobby. So it was easy for me. But the problem I have, the struggle that I have, is finding a micro niche inside that broad niche. That's something that I really struggle with. Uh, and I use the power of AI to help me with this. So you can go through the training here. This is going to walk you through it. If you don't know what you're picking, he also gives you a load of done-for-you niches and everything you need to build a business alongside those done-for-you niches. So I use ChatGPT, and I come in here, and, and I asked it, can you tell me some gardening businesses I can run online? Before I show you exactly what that come back with, if we go back to the action plan, further on down the action plan, once we've picked our niche, we move on to rock solid foundation, then you move on to the path to success. But I just want to explain something here. This path to success is your traffic source. We're going to be using YouTube or Google, two of the biggest search engines in the world, the biggest search engines in the world. Um, and this time, I've used YouTube. I love creating video. Um, and it's something I've done for years now. Uh, it makes my life easier. And I could choose to do that 
with this new business and it would help me accelerate my progress of course because I already have the experience I have the knowledge yeah I'm still learning but I've also got those few advantage steps I'm a few steps ahead already but I've decided to do something completely different I want to do blogging this time I want to use Google and I want to create written content now again this is because one I want to challenge myself, I want to push myself, and I want to learn new skills and develop my knowledge along the way. Two, I want to make this as realistic for you guys as possible. I want you to see that I'm starting from the beginning. I'm doing something I've never done before. This is completely new to me, and I want you to see that if I can do it, then you can do it as well. So I'm not giving myself an unfair advantage. So those couple of reasons, that's why I'm going to choose blogging. When we get to this section, I have already gone through this training, but I just wanted to show you that. So for the niche, I went into ChatGPT and I asked it from some business ideas. It come back with garden blogging, which is what I know I want to do. So I asked it to break down some micro niches of garden blogging. And then I can work my way through here. There's organic kitchen gardening, urban balcony gardens. These are all fantastic. Native plants and wildlife. This is stuff I would have never thought of myself. I, I really struggle finding micro niches inside a broad niche. And this just made the whole process really, really easy. But I need to find one that suits me, that fits my personality fits my gardening style um, and something that separates me from everyone else now the thing that does that on this list is organic kitchen gardening because that's what I like I like organic gardening everything I grow is organic and I like growing food I have a passion for anything that you can stick in your mouth and eat so I asked it to give me a content plan for that so it gave me an introduction it's just breaking down I'm just getting some ideas and, and moving forward so after we've got that I asked it for who would be the audience for this topic so it broke down home gardeners uh, health enthusiasts sustainable environment all gardeners foodies and cooking enthusiasts parents and families now this is the key for me I have four young children I'm a parent I have a family and I love to share my gardening with my family. It's what my granddad did for me when I was little. It's what we did as a family when I was little. It was our family activity. Um, and I want to do the same, and I do the same with my children. So this breaks me apart. So now I've asked it to break down a content plan for parents and families. So this is an introduction to gardening for kids, easy to grow plants for kids, gardens. You can see this makes the whole process so, so easy. It breaks it down, gives you some ideas. I chose my niche from that. So it's going to be organic gardening for parents and families nice and simple guys so moving on from the niche we went into rock solid foundation this is step two of the action plan now remember this is seven steps but you don't have to rush through it make sure you go through all the training make sure if you follow along with me and you decide to jump inside take an action line you want to do this challenge yourself you don't have to get it done in seven days I'm moving through it quite quick because I've done it before. This is the exact training I used to produce this business right here, School of Affiliates. So I know some of the process, although it's years ago that I went through it and it's been refined, it's been polished and it's been simplified and it's much, much better and much easier to follow through. So inside here, which is the Rock Solid Foundation, we're going to be building out the website. This is the foundation of your business. You know, we're going to choose a domain name. You can also use ChatGPT for the help of that, like I've done in the process I just showed you, and Philip walks you through that. The hosting, WordPress overview, setting up the hosting domains, then you've got your page builders, Google properties, SEO friendly site, core pages, legal pages, all of that good stuff. So I've gone through this process, and now, if I show you over here, this is my WordPress dashboard for my new website, and I'm not going to show you what my website is because I want to keep it um, clean. I don't want you guys coming in and checking out the website because later on in this series, I'm going to share with you all of the traffic, leads, sales, everything like that. So you can see just how long does it take. Now, especially in a very competitive niche like gardening, um, how long does it take me to start getting traffic on go from Google? How long does it take me to start building an email list? How long does it take me to start making money? And how much money am I making? I'm going to share all of that with you right here. So I want to keep it clean. I'm not going to share with you the actual website 
just for the purpose of that because I don't want people just jumping in there to have a look and, and messing up the data that's coming back. Um, so I've done the, I've built out the WordPress dashboard and I've set up my legal pages, privacy policy, affiliate disclosure, terms and conditions, contact us page, all of those are done and we can move on to the next step. So that's all done. That's the blocks of the foundation complete along with a couple of other things. Then it's choosing a path. I've already mentioned this to you. The path I've chosen is blogging. You have two choices. You've got YouTube or blogging, which is Google. Uh, the reason for that is because they are the biggest search engines and uh, you've got the best chance of seeing results and success with that. Philip explains all of that. Um, and it's, you know, it's just the best way to build it. There are other options and the, the thing you're going to do is you're going to build upon Google and YouTube later on in your business, you'll start leveraging social media and stuff like that. So it's a long term bird's eye view. Then we got blogging on YouTube. I'm choosing blogging for the reasons I mentioned, combined traffic sources, and then moving on to the next step. So now I've set up the, all of the basics. I've got the, the foundation in. I know what traffic source I'm going to be focusing on. That's blogging. I'm going to start moving on now to the conversion op optimized deployment. I'm going to start creating my irresistible lead magnet, and I'm going to do all this by following. Philips training. It's so easy to follow. It's laid out in such a simple way that it just makes my life easy. So why wouldn't I do it? So once I've done my lead magnet, I'm going to set up uh, the email marketing, which is basically a, you know, a very simple email automation to deliver this lead magnet and start hopefully making some sales later on down the line. And then I'll go through the launch procedure. Once I've completed that, I'm going to share that process with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, then make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can uh, be notified when I release the next video. And from here, we're going to move on. Once all of those are complete, all the seven steps, we're going to move on to the Marketing Academy. And you can see in here, this walks you through every single week in the process. So 180 day implementation plan. This is the challenge that I'm facing, 180 days. Week one and two, three and four, five and six. And further down, I'm also gonna be going through the blogging boot camp down here and the AI blogging boot camp. First thing is first, we need to finish step four, five, six, and seven of the action plan. Stay tuned guys, I'll share all of my journey with you. And if you wanna follow along with me, if you wanna build your own business, your own digital asset, whether it's YouTube or blogging, whatever niche it is, then this is the training for you. You wanna follow along with this. All you need to do is hit the link in the description. Again, that'll take you through to the Fast Track Affiliate Bootcamp. You get that part for free guys, so you can go and check it out, see what you think. If you love it, like I do, you can jump in and start the action plan. I'll see you on the next video.